Well, despite that record-setting temperature, really watching those clouds bubble up quickly out of the west and out of the north. That's because tonight we're expecting a little bit of overnight rain to the north of the Concho Valley. Right now we're looking at those temperatures across the board, sitting at a toasty 107 degrees here in San Angelo. Everyone else joining us at that triple-digit mark. We set another record here today, so that's four days in a row, which is a little concerning, which we had talked about in previous days, about how much something can deal with this prolonged heat. We're starting to see the lasting, lasting long-term effects of some of these hotter conditions. Right now, temperatures across the Concho Valley in that triple digit wall. It's going to be the hot spot today. When we talk about geopotential energy, this is where the hot spot's going to be. Storms are definitely going to try to come into this region, soak up some of that heat, push it out of the area before it moves on further to the east towards those hotter, lower areas. Now, when we talk about the relative humidity and dew point across the region, we are seeing that they're sitting at more of the teens up to the northwest, but you can see those pockets of green showing us that there is some humidity relatively around the area, but <coughs> cranking up as much of the detail as I can on our moisture tracker, it's going to kind of give you an idea of where these lines of moisture are as they make their way across Texas, giving us an idea of how much moisture is about to be pulled up by some of these larger waves that we're expecting, despite some of the high ridging that we're going to be making its way into our area by about next week, if not this weekend. Right now, we're looking at a very suppressive zonal flow, but we're going to watch as those storms start to deepen off to the west of us. You see that ridging that's going to extend all the way up into Idaho, bringing those hotter temperatures back where we could set more records while at the same time off the east coast. They're going to start to see a lot more devastating weather. Right now, when we look at the severe weather outlook we're watching it follow along that trend where we're seeing results of that troughing and then of course another finger of the jet up to the north and when we look at the satellite we're really watching this large storm encompass most of the ohio river valley but this tail end of this storm really causing a lot of those clouds to be pushed into our area it could potentially pull a lot of this moisture if not watching this storm over arizona new mexico pull down into our region tonight you can see the troughing right across the concho valley and that's where we could expect to see some of that weather push into our area by about nighttime but we are watching a lot of these clouds start to push into our area, letting us know that as we make our way towards that cooler evening, we could see a lot of those thunderstorms push into our region. So when we look at the front tracker, we're going to watch that line of thunderstorms try to push through by about tonight and then again tomorrow. But then by Friday, Saturday, going to kind of clear up where you're seeing those storms really hang off more towards the north. So tonight, we're going to be dropping down into those upper 70s again. We're going to get a good start at those hotter temperatures. Could see some light rain make its way into our area. Tomorrow, going to be seeing more humid conditions. We're also going to see a little leftover clouds as we make our way in towards that pre-weekend. And that's going to be the case as we continue to close out this second week of August already. It's already flying by, even though those hotter temperatures are really causing things to feel like they're taking longer than they should. And then as we make our way into that third week of August, we're going to see a little bit of a cool down while those lows kind of sit down in those mid-70s. But then we talk about that ridging that's going to find its way back into our area where we're going to see that gradual warm-up again. Stay tuned. We'll have more after the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.